Jamie Lee Curtis paid tribute to Pamela Anderson, her co-star on The Last Showgirl. The 66-year-old actress, who will not resemble herself in the upcoming drama, supported the former Playboy model for ownership of self by posing on Instagram without makeup. She had just gotten out of the shower and was wearing a white knitted sweater, exposing her face. Selfie right out of the shower. Paying tribute to at Pamela Anderson at Last Showgirl and her self-reliance without makeup. Sober. Powerful. Stay steady, she wrote in the post. Adding, I just realized that I appear to be wearing mascara, which is obviously a holdover from yesterday's workday. Mommy obviously didn't do a good job washing her face. The 57-year-old Anderson has acknowledged that switching to her natural appearance was a deliberate choice, and she has recently adopted a more makeup-free lifestyle. Curtis' youthful appearance was well-received by her 6 million followers, who left hundreds of comments endorsing the cause. One person wrote, You really initiated this phase of clear faces, minds, and hearts. You're quite attractive, said another. Makeup is not necessary for you. My mentors for aging with grace and compassion are you, Michelle Yeoh, and Helen Mirren. Anderson was open about withdrawing from Hollywood and her role as a sex icon back in August. Additionally, she referred to her Playboy persona as a cartoon character. That was the beginning of me letting go of the image I had always had of myself, she remarked, reflecting on her experience being barefaced. What is this character I made from cartoons? All right, that was enjoyable. However, I've changed since then, she remarked. In addition, the Baywatch star was eager to question the notion of beauty and this mask we put on. Although she claimed she didn't believe anyone would even notice that she was giving up makeup, the world has given her a fresh perspective on who she is. The world opened up as soon as I removed the mask, Pamela continued. The blonde beauty went on to explain how foregoing lipstick altered her perception of beauty for a relatable reason. It just so happened that I was at Paris Fashion Week, and I said, I'm not going to spend three hours sitting in a makeup chair. She joked, I'm going to the Louvre. Who am I competing with, was my next thought. This girl from Vancouver Island was wearing these glitzy outfits, and I was enjoying it. And I felt like this little freckle-faced kid with a big, beautiful Vivian Westwood hat on, she continued. The pneumatic kind of picture that people have of Pamela is something she is happy to have shed. As much as I cooked all those meals for my family and my kids and through every dinner party, it wasn't what was seen publicly, she clarified. However, I also contributed to the perception that was formed of me. I'm glad I did all that, but I'm really glad I'm where I am now, the activist added appreciatively. The most significant aspect, in my opinion, is that I survived everything. And now that I get to be myself and enjoy this time, it's such a relief, she concluded. Curtis portrays Annette, a former Las Vegas showgirl who works as a cocktail server in the eagerly awaited Gia Coppola-directed and Anderson-starring movie The Last Showgirl. Jamie, who has orange-red hair, is shown hanging with Anderson's character in a new trailer for the movie. Discussing her role with Entertainment Weekly, Annette's leathered look was intentional, according to Jamie. She stated, there is a term that is kind of derogatory of women in particular, saying that they look like they were ridden hard and put away wet. She has that leathered look, and I really wanted to show the damage the sun had done to her, Jamie said.